Good morning viewers. Your teacher today is Dr. Bosa Sayas. Dr. Bosa is a teacher at the Science Foundation College, the best school that teaches sciences. Today, 17 November 2020, we are going to study reproduction in plants. Your teacher is Dr. Bosa Sayas. Telephone 256 778 633682. Our website is digitalteachers.co.ug. Here you find notes, exams, and marking guides for physics, chemistry, biology from S1 to S6. YouTube channel. Digital Teachers Uganda. Here you find related videos in physics, chemistry, biology, and primary living examinations. The best secondary school in Uganda is the Science Foundation College. Plus 256 the best primary school that will cultivate the science culture in your child is Lock of Ages Primary School. Plus 256-772-849106. A flower is a sexual reproduction organ in a plant. Parts of the flower are shown in the diagram below. So on a flower we have a stalk, sepal, petals brightly colored to attract pollinators. When you look at a hibiscus flower, a flower has got a stalk which connects it to the plant. An hibiscus flower, we have epicalyx and the calyx. These protect the flower during the bud stage. We have the petals that are brightly colored to attract pollinators. When we remove the petals inside here, we have the stigma. To receive pollen grains, we have the answers to produce pollen grains. And below, below here we have the ovary that contains ovules. Functions or parts of flowers. Sepals protect the flower in the bud stage. Petals are brightly colored to attract pollinators. Answers produce pollen grains, stigma receives pollen grains, the ovary contains ovules that are fertilized to produce seeds, the ovary develops into a fruit. Process of pollen formation. The answers contain pollen sacs that contain spore mother cells. Each spore mother cell undergoes meiosis to produce pollen grains as shown below. A drawing of mature pollen grain is shown below. Exine and entine protect in a contents of pollen grain. Exine may contain spikes to stick on the stigma. Pollen tube nuclei develops into a pollen tube. Generative nuclei develops into two male nuclei. One fuses with the egg nuclei to form a zygote. Another fuses with two polar nuclei to form 
and endosperm. Formation of an egg. The single embryo sac mother cell in an ovule undergoes meiotic division to form a row of four haploid cells, megaspore, of which three degenerate. The remaining one expands and its nucleus undergoes the successive mitotic divisions to form an immature embryo sac containing eight nuclei that become arranged in the pattern three to two to one. A drawing of mature ovule is shown below. The ovary protects ovules. The egg cell develops into a seed. The integuments protect the embryo and develop into seed coat. The micropyle allows entry of polynuclei. The stroke supplies food and water to the ovary. Pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from answers to the stigma. Cell pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the answer to the stigma of the same flower or stigma of a flower on the same plant. Cross pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from an anther to the stigma of another flower on a different plant of the same species. Agents of pollination include wind, water, animals, which include insects. Characteristics of wind pollinated flowers produce large amounts of light pollen grains. Their petals are not brightly colored, have feathery stigmas. Characteristics of insect pollinated flowers have brightly colored petals, produce scent, have stigmas, produce nectar, produce sticky pollen grainies. Development after pollination. Exine burst open and entine grows into a pollen tube guided by a pollen tube nucleus and enters the embryo through the micropyle. The generative nucleus divides mitotically to form two marrow nuclei. One fuses with egg nucleus to form a zygote. Another fuses with two polar nuclei to form an Endosperm. The plant is thus said to have dough fertilization because two fusion of nuclei occur in an ovum. One with egg nucleus to form a zygote, another with two polar nuclei to form an endosperm. Development after fertilization. A zygote develops into an embryo. Plumule and radical. Ovule develops into a seed. Ovary develops into a fruit. Parthenogenesis is the development of a new individual from an fertilized egg. In haploid parthenogenesis, eggs are produced by meiosis. For example, in a marrow B. In a diploid pathogenesis, eggs are produced by mitosis. For example, in a wingless amphids. Pathogenesis allows organisms to pass on the genetic materials in the absence of the male. 
to sustain species in challenging conditions. Parfenocarpe is the development of a fruit without fertilization. Serifu pollination is the union of garments from the same flower. Advantages increases chances of fertilization to only one parent is required. This advantage reduces variation and the adaptation is to changing environment. Two, a parent may transfer diseases to offsprings, especially genetic diseases. Cross pollination is the union of gametes from different flowers of the same species. Advantages genetic mixing increases variation and adaptation is to the changing conditions. Disadvantages lowers chances of fertilization. Mean is employed by plants to limit self fertilization. Answers and sigma maturing at different period or time. Protandry answers mature before stigma. Protagine stigma mature before answers. Two self incompatibility. Pollen grain is fail to germinate on the stigma of the same flower. Inflorescence increases chances of pollen grains from one flower to another. The stigma being longer than the answers. Monaceous plants have separate male and female flowers on the same plant. For example, maize. Dioceous plants have separate male and female flowers on separate plants. For example, poppos. Minis in plants that favor self fertilization. Flowers being bisexual, having both androsium and pistil. Answers and stigmas ripening at the same time. For example, tomato. Flowers remaining closed until fertilization is done. For example, garden peas. Flowers being buried in the ground. For example, ground nuts. Advantages of reproduction by seeds. Seed protects embryo. Seeds allow easy dispersal. Genetic variation enables adaptation is to changing environment. Seeds remain dormant to enable plant survive adverse conditions. These are advantages of reproduction by seeds. Seeds are easily eaten by animals. Seeds have limited food reserves. Three, two individuals are required to form seeds. Similarities of sexual reproduction in plants and animals. Gametes are formed by meiosis. Two, gametes are haploid. Three, male gamete is more than the female gamete. Four, male gamete move to the female gamete. Five, in both fertilization involves union of gametes. Six, there is genetic mixing and variation. Seven, embryo grows within the female
organism. Differences between sexual reproduction in plants and animals. In animals, animals are dioecious, while plants may be bisexual, dioecious, or monoecious. Two animals have permanent sexual reproducing organisms, while those of plants are temporary. Three, in the plants, pollen grain is required agents of pollination, while animals don't. Four, in the plants, double fertilization occurs, but not in the animals. Five, in the plant, the ovum has eight nuclei, while in the animal, there is only one. Fruit and the seed disperse. The spreading of seeds from mother plant. Importance of fruit and seed dispersal, avoiding overcrowding and competition, spread and preserve species in the case of calamities in an area. Dispersal agents include wind, water, and animals. Seed domus is a state in which a seed is unable to germinate when the condition is necessary for germination are available. Importance of seed domus. Allow time for dispersal. Enable seed to survive adverse condition is allow time for the seed to mature causes of seed dormancy immature embryo two impermeable seed coat to water and oxygen three presence of growth inhibitors four some seeds require exposure to light before they germinate. Five, some seeds require quality treatment before they germinate. How to break seed domas? One, removal of impermeable seed coat. Two, removal of growth inhibitors by soaking seeds. Three, exposure of seeds to prolonged light. Four, cold treatment. Five, use of growth promoters. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Please find notes, exams, and their marking guides on the website, Digital Teachers. .co.ug. Also find related videos in the physics, chemistry and biology on our YouTube channel, Digital Teachers Uganda. On the YouTube channel, where there is search, type Digital Teachers Uganda and you will be given categories of videos for primary, O level and A level classes. The best secondary school in Uganda is the Science Foundation College plus 256-753-80-2709. The best primary school in Uganda is Local of Ages Primary School plus 256-772. 8491 06